Making start number 10, and that earned run average continues to dive at 453. And that figures to work in Davies' favor with that changeup as he strikes out Coco Crisp. Here's Billy Burns now. And a grounder right back to the mound. One pitch, Burns retired. Two up, two down for Zach. Crisp on the ground, got a chance to turn it. Hill to VR, throw to first in time. Double play, nicely done. Now from the windup, here it is, a swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball down low and away. And a longtime assistant coach under Bo Ryan is Davies with back-to-back -back strikeouts. So he's faced just one over the minimum as Chris Coughlin leads off. And a liner right to Carter for out number one. A couple of hard hit balls have been caught. Oh, he does swing. A tad late, but he swings. And it's a strikeout for Davies, his fifth. Two and two the count on the speedy Burns. And out in front, lazy fly ball, long run. Flores, he lays out and makes the catch. Ramon Flores, cool and calm, runs it down for the first out of the inning. He took a little bit of a step back and then realized that better get going and able to haul it in. Uh, kind of a dive, but able to keep it in the glove. Uh, Zach Davies happy about that effort by his center fielder. In the air, left center field. Way back. And he didn't miss that one. Billy Butler off the back of the bullpen wall. It's a two-run home run. And the A's are on the board. No hitter is gone, as is the shutout. But the fans rise to their feet here at Miller Park in appreciation of Zach Davies' effort at this point. One, two to Simeon and a ground ball. That'll be Perez. Long throw is a good one, and the inning is over. Well, no hitters lost thanks to Billy Butler. He also took care of the shutout. However, Davies pitching a jam once again here at Miller Park.